Yo, what is going on today, guys? It is Sam here, and today I am actually back playing duels for the first time in a while, and I have some things to talk to you guys about today. I want to talk about um, Minecraft as a game. A lot of people always ask me if I think Minecraft is dying, but first, before we get into that, um, I just want to let you guys know that I actually lost my number one. Did he pre-head me? He did. I actually lost my number one duel streak. Um, a guy named Calvin uh, actually got like a 700 streak, which is pretty crazy, man. Like, I don't know how he played that long, to be totally honest. And uh, so we no longer had the number one win streak. Uh, I probably could get it again if I really, really wanted to play you know 800 matches of duels but to be completely honest i really don't want to do that i don't think anybody wants to do that right so kudos to him uh good job calvin congrats on the uh numero uno streak and yeah anyway another thing that i wanted to talk to talk about today is is minecraft dying as a game um and i see this a lot in my comments you know when i'm streaming uh other games like uh, as a reminder guys go sub to my second channel which is where I play my FPS games like overwatch and which I just started streaming in today and Call of Duty World War 2 I'll be playing the new CODs as well uh, I've got I got 53rd on leaderboards in COD and I got you know top 25 in a overwatch which is really really cool But yeah, so people always ask me you Sam is Minecraft dying as a game and my response is always kind of the same Which no, I don't think Minecraft is dying as a game so let's briefly talk about Mojang and what Mojang has been kind of doing to their game over the past few years. Uh, to put things in perspective, a few years ago, Microsoft actually bought Minecraft for $2.5 billion. Okay, that's quite a bit of money. $2.5 billion with a B dollars. Okay, dude, you're getting wrecked, dude. And they have, I have to be completely honest with you, they've taken the game in a much better direction than I think Mojang did. Mojang, in my opinion, in terms of the decisions they made, were very, very close-minded towards servers. They made, made things harder for individual networks to make a living off of their game, which I understand getting rid of certain pay-to-win aspects, but they weren't really, I don't know, as you guys know, the EULA is very, very strict, especially if you own a server, you know. It's, it's not very easy to make a whole lot of money off a of Minecraft server as, as it used to be. I mean, you still can do well if you run a very, very large server network, but it's not pay to win like it used to be. And Mojang, you know, on the official Minecraft Reddit, you couldn't mention servers. I know Hypixel tweeted about this. I, I mean, I worked at Mineplex for a bit, so I know it wasn't like a, you know, the, obviously there was communications, but I, and I'm not speaking on behalf of the Mineplex team, by the way. This was just like my, from what I heard from off the record from all kinds of people on all kinds of servers that you never really had a, a very talkative relationship with Mojang. But Microsoft has done it completely differently. Microsoft has literally made the Minecraft partner program, which I think is great. Uh, and they're actually directly working with a lot of servers and server owners. Uh, well, not a lot, only a handful right now uh, to actually help promote their multiplayer experience on Minecraft's client and uh, through Minecraft itself. Um, Mojang was n never really did that. <laughs> like I said, like Mojang never really did that. But why I think the game is not dying is because the new Bedrock Edition is going to do very, very well. I mean, I, I think the direction that Microsoft is trying to take is make the Java Edition more of the Community Edition, while uh, the Bedrock Edition is where they have, you know, the creator, the Minecraft store, and, you know, all this other stuff that makes Minecraft way more versatile and way more open to the community. They give a lot more creators an opportunity to make a living off the game and do the game full-time and stuff like that. Man, I'm, I'm really missing some Minecraft PvP here. This guy should die here. Let's see if I can put one last... Combo, combo on him. Okay, he's got he's got a combo on me. You need to take some damage, my man. What? All right, I could have sworn I killed that guy, but you know what? That's totally fine. This is like my second Minecraft battle of the year, so it's alright. We would definitely would have dropped them if I was focusing on the game instead of the commentary, but. Uh, yeah, so like I said, Bedrock Edition is going to take Minecraft to a whole new level. It's actually cross-platform, so Windows 10 users, uh, Xbox users, and uh, mobile users can all play together, which is actually ni about 90% of the Minecraft community. The re remaining Java people are only about, I think, the equal of like 10% of the entire Minecraft population, so very, very small. So they've actually broadened their range. Okay, please don't do that in duels, dude. Please don't do this in duels. They've actually broadened their range significantly. Okay, you know what, dude? You, we're you're, you're just gonna die here. You're just gonna die. You're just gonna die. Stay in lava and die. 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 There we go. Okay, awesome. But they've really broadened their range of what they're trying to do with the game, and that's actually gonna help Minecraft quite a bit. Now, in terms of PvP, okay, now this is where things start to get a little bit crazy. This is where people start to get a little bit more adamant about their beliefs. As a PC player and one of the top, somebody who was ranked top 25 in Build UAC, was he B hopping? 
I think he was, but as you know, a bad for someone who played bad line, he is he was be hopping. All right, come on, kid. Let's let's just do this. Let's get this over with. I don't really care. Um, here we go. Let me kill this cheater. Uh, I'm not really a fan of the PvP updates, and I'm sure none of you guys are either, okay? Because, you know, to be honest, when it comes to PvP, the people from Mojang simply have no idea what they're doing. Um, I'm, I, again, I don't have anything against the people of Mojang. I don't think they're dumb people. I, I don't think they're, you know, incompetent. I'm just saying that they don't understand their PvP community. They don't understand... Um, what it is that made PvP good. They, I actually talked to one of the Mojang staff people at TwitchCon 2016, um, and, uh, he was making jokes about how apparently th that they made my, that they made PvP more competitive and spam clicking your mouse isn't competitive or something, and that just kind of goes to show you they really didn't have a thorough understanding of their game and how it kind of worked like that, um, with like fishing poles and stuff like that. They really didn't understand like there's strafing involved, you know, there's all kinds of more skilled, and they wanted to kind of equal the playing field for a lot of people. Uh, who couldn't click fast, but that kind of ruined it, to be honest. Like, this, this slow paced shield PvP with the timers and stuff, just nobody liked it, and it really just wasn't good. Hence why servers are still running versions of 1.8, um, on many, many networks are running versions of 1.8. The big, all the biggest networks are still running 1.8, like a four-year-old client, or something like that, simply because they need to keep that kind of player base involved, or the people will quit Minecraft, because they don't want to play PvP games with, you know, the trashy 1.9 shields, which, to be frank, everybody knows it at this point, you know, saying, otherwise it's just wrong they're just bad okay that mechanic and those mechanics are not good and it's what surprises me is that you know after three or four years of people clearly giving negative reviews to this generally speaking um with the fact that servers have not updated um it just goes to show you that like it's it's not good. <laughs> it's not good. But the fact that PvP servers like OCN and, you know, all these other servers who update to 1.9 just die out immediately, like, goes to show you that it's kind of a waste of potential. So, like, Minecraft PvP in the 1.8 versions could even have esports applications, to be honest. Like, down the line, obviously nothing too serious, nothing like CSGO or anything like that. But, you know, there are de definitely some serious opportunities for... You know, Minecraft to develop as an eSport in terms of PvP, if they actually had gone back to the 1.8, maybe 1.7, I prefer 1.8, honestly, uh, versions of the game. And they just simply do not get that. So, if Mojang was still in charge of PvP, I would say, you know, the PvP community didn't have much hope. Um, but I think Microsoft is doing a little bit different on, on the with Bedrock Edition. I don't think there's a hit cooldown, because uh, again, it is on mobile. Um, and again, I'm not trying to bash Mojang here. I'm just trying to give some honest, an honest review about what I think the direction of the community is going in and what kind of things that they could do to actually improve it. So I'm actually going to talk about now, like I just said, things that can actually improve the game and keep the game alive and keep the game fresh because there's no point in whining and complaining about something if you actually don't suggest anything to improve it. So I would, I have no problem with the idea of shields being in the game. Okay. I don't have a problem with that. Um, but you, just because there's shields in the game doesn't mean you have to get rid of the blocking mechanic entirely. I'm, I'm pretty sure it is coming back now, to be fair. Um, you just, first off, you just completely scrap the hit timer thing. Um, you just get rid of it because it's just not good. Um, I don't think it's good at all. I don't think anybody really enjoys it, uh, at all. Anybody who played this game from the first generation really does not like it. And I'm pretty sure as other generations get older, they would like it as well. Not even older, actually. You know what? You know, people who are around the age of 12 would probably get a hang of it pretty quickly. You don't, you don't need to click 10 CPS to be good at Minecraft PvP. You can click 6 and be fine if you have good aim and good strafing and good game sets. Like, you don't need to be a god when it comes to, you know, clicking like 15 CPS. Like, I casually click like 10, okay? That's that's all I really need to do uh, when I click up to 13 as well. But, like, I don't spam click. I just casually click and it works out, okay? You don't need to... It really does not make a difference. So, if the people from Mojang think that, then, you know, it's kind of a, a silly thing to say. But, again, you get rid of the hit timer. Uh, you get rid of shields the way they work. You can keep them in the game and add, keep blocking in the game. Can I obby him? Uh, okay, I almost obbied him. That would have been pretty funny, but... You know, there's still a lot of things that they have to change. And keep the fishing rod mechanic, keep the animations. Go back to the 1.7 animations where instead of having to get a modded, a modded client, so to speak, to get the red and the red damage indicators on people when they turn red when you hit them, like just keep that in the game, generally speaking. And I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, this whole thing seems kind of silly to me how they change so much in such a little amount of time. But it's really only a couple things that they need to tweak to make the game really, really good. Um, 
again, I guess, you know, it's, it's it stinks that we have to run, you know, a four-year-old version of the game to experience PvP how it should be and how most people want it. Uh, but, you know, there's only so much you can do sometimes. Oh my god, buddy, you are getting wrecked, dude. Look at this ping. He's, like, from China or something. Like, I, I don't know where he's from, but, okay, you're dead. You, you gotta die. There we go. Okay, we got him, but... I don't know. Those are three small, quick things that I think could actually really improve Minecraft as a game and kind of just improve the community. Uh, and that, that is kind of my answer to Minecraft design. I think it's not. I think Mo Microsoft is doing a good job of um, integrating creators and server networks into their Bedrock platform. How does he know it's me? Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm disguised. Well, I guess that's not really a very... It's not really a conspicuous disguise. It's pretty obvious that it's me here. Uh, but yeah, leave your guys' feedback down below. What do you think needs to happen to Minecraft as a game to keep PvP scene alive? Uh, do you think Minecraft is dying out? Do you think it's never gonna... Do you think it's already hit its peak, or do you think it's gonna continue to peak? Um, I don't think its peak is over. I think crossplay has a lot of applications to it. And once that client develops more, um, it'll be an even bigger community than the last one. Um... But, I hope that Microsoft does not make the same decisions that Mojang tried to make when it comes to PvP. Uh, the people at Mojang just were not thinking, well I guess they were thinking, but they tried and it just did not work and I don't think it's the best thing for the game. Then again, I am, you know, kind of like an Overwatch player and a COD player and somebody who likes competitive games who played a lot of Minecraft as well, so my opinion could be a little bit, I don't know not their target audience but the thing is they could maintain a high an older age so basically what what their pvp is designed to do is not designed to be quote fair for younger players i guess is kind of the thing um except the problem with that is you're not gonna run you're, you're not gonna have a high player retention rate if you make it really bad and simple like it's like i don't know and this is a kid's game to be fair it's a game for younger people but it has a lot of applications for older people as well so they could actually maintain more players over a longer period of time if they had a more advanced combat system and what i mean by advanced is a higher skill gap combat system so that does it for today uh, we did lose like a 61 streak, although I kind of I wasn't really trying to be fair. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out my second channel, like I said, and I will see you all later. Peace out.